Vaccines have played a key role in reducing numbers in hospital and today sees the launch of a world first. The Cove Boost trial, a collect data on a potential booster jab of a COVID vaccine that could be given in the autumn to those most at risk if approved by the government's advisers on vaccines. Aisha Tull reports now from Bradford. Bradford has fared worse than most. Waves of COVID causing high cases, hospitalizations and then sadly deaths. That was the picture for the last 14 months. We were here filming inside the hospital for some of that. We've got the red area almost completely full. That's no longer the case. And now in a world first, Bradford is one of 18 areas looking at how to cope with COVID going forward. This booster shot trial will see if we need a third jab and maybe more. I want things to get back to normal. We all do. I'm from an area where we've got a lot of variants of concern and things like that as well, so it's doing my bit. Steve is one of the first through the door. They're aiming for 148 people in total. <laughs> Professor Dinesh Saralaya, who showed us around Ward 31 in Bradford Royal Infirmary a few months ago, is leading the trial here. Now, this study will tell us whether the ad addition of a booster to certain sections of our community is that the way forward in the autumn and the winter what is it looking like on the wards at the moment so we've got a small number of patients who are mainly below the age of 50 uh, in hospital uh, I've just done a ward round yesterday and uh, this small number are those people who have been offered a vaccine but have been hesitant in taking it up and unfortunately have suffered from the harmful effects of COVID for this trial, seven vaccines that the UK has ordered will be tested, including Oxford AstraZeneca and Pfizer-BioNTech, the ones the country has the most of. Participants will complete an online diary for up to 28 days after vaccination. Results are expected by the end of August and a decision taken by the JCVI, Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation, who advises the government on decisions around jabs, will be made in September. The trial is still looking for more people who've had the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine to take part. Professor Saul Faust is the national lead on this. We've heard a lot about efficacy, you know, being at like 90% or higher. Some people would say, well, 90% sounds, sounds pretty good. Why would I need a booster? Remember, the recording of those sorts of information in those trials, in the original trials, are from two weeks after the first dose for the first couple of months. Um, after that, we know that your antibody levels drop, um, drop by a certain amount, but we don't know for the COVID vaccines how quickly that drop's going to be. That's the future, but what about now? Bradford has been a place of concern. Cases across the country have been rising from a low level, and that's specifically because of the Delta variant, newly named by the WHO, which originated in India. So with all of that going on, should lockdown easing go ahead? to overreact now and be, be told off by lots of angry people that we were too cautious uh, is probably uh, less pain than to underreact now um, and end up, I don't know, in August or in September with another crisis and, and lots of restrictions. What we've got to do is be careful so that uh, we don't end up in a big mess. Today's big milestone of zero COVID deaths a welcome relief for all, showing that the country is not back in the place that it was. We know so much more. And with this booster trial underway, those running the study are hoping that they can get a step ahead to protect the most vulnerable.